In this video, I'm going to compare GoDaddy to Google Domains. Which one is the best uh, for you? Of course, it depends on your situation. And let's start with GoDaddy. So GoDaddy has very cheap domains, uh, not the cheapest out there, but I'm going to compare the pricing of GoDaddy and Google Domains and see which one is the cheapest because the quality of a domain is always the same. It's not like if you buy a domain from GoDaddy, if you buy a domain from another company, for example, Google Domains now, the, the quality is the same. So let's go ahead and type in how to test to as a domain. Um, then we add it to cart here. And first we are going to compare the price. So let's go to the cart. And we have to wait a couple of moments and remove this one, of course. And we do it for one year. Okay, the price is 10 euro 14 cents. Now let's look for a domain here. Let's actually copy this domain because we want this domain as well, .com. And then search for pricings. So this is one, and here it says $12 uh, a year. So we can go ahead and add it to cart on Google Domains itself. Let's go to the cart on Google Domains, and you can see it is exactly $12, which is around this. So let's convert this to dollars. Euro to USD. Let's convert. As you can see, <laughs> Right now, GoDaddy would be four cents cheaper, but in pricing, it's basically the same. Like there is not a big difference if you want to buy a domain on Google Domains and GoDaddy. So that's not the difference. If you're just looking for the cheapest option, yeah, GoDaddy in this case is four cents cheaper. So if you want to save four cents, yeah, go ahead and do it. But that's probably not what you're looking for. So if you don't really like Google or you do like Google, but you want to step out of it, like you want to go to ProtonMail, to other things like Brave Browser, not use Google so much, then I wouldn't recommend you to use Google Domains because of course it's owned by Google and then you could definitely choose GoDaddy. Also a reason why you could change, uh, choose GoDaddy over Google Domains is because it has hosting included. We can go to website, all hosting options, and if you're not really tech savvy, you're a beginner and you want to create a website the easiest way possible, then go for GoDaddy. It's on the same platform. The hosting is decent. It's not the best, but it's okay. You can connect your domain easily because it's in the same platform. And if you buy your domain through Google Domains, you have to use an external hosting company, which can be a little bit confusing, especially if you don't know anything about DNS, web hosting and stuff like that. So if you're a beginner, just go for GoDaddy. It's really easy to use. It has a nice interface and I'm not paid by this company, but just because, because it's so easy, I would recommend this. For example, if I had to have a domain, it can be here and then you have to select a hosting company. You can also choose the GoDaddy hosting, but then why not buy the domain on GoDaddy as well? So this is what I would recommend to you. Of course, you have to decide yourself, but this is what I think is the best. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.